a fair warning, this video will make you hungry. Hello everyone, today I'm doing a Asian grocery haul. <laughs> I usually post this on my IG stories all the time and people love it. So I thought I would put it on YouTube where it's more permanent and you guys can like rewind or forward or pause, whatever. I go to the Asian store all the time. I would say like 90% of the food I make is Asian or Hawaiian inspired. I go to this Asian market called Seoul Market. That is my favorite, but it is about 40 minutes away from me. So I don't go there as much as I would like, but they sell amazing Korean dishes. That's the main reason why I go. Really good, amazing Korean dishes at a really affordable price and fruit. Have you tasted Korean fruit? It is so much better, you guys. You just need to trust me. So let's get started. The Korean Asian pears. They look how huge. Look how like that's huge. Oh, I just scratched it. Look, this is the Asian pear from Costco. It's like mushy. It's not even crunchy. It's not that good. Look at the comparison. It's this is so sweet and crunchy. It is doesn't even compare. So do not get Costco. Psh. Get it from the Asian market. Asian cream pears. These are the cream dishes I'm talking about. I mean, look at the price. This is, I don't even know what it is. It's chinamul buchim. So it's like these greens. I eat like bibimbap every day. I could eat bibimbap every day. So I just get these and I put egg in it with rice and I mix it up with the red pepper paste and sesame oil, bibimbap. So good. The prices are amazing. My sister who lives in LA, who goes to Koreatown to grocery shop, she said this is even cheaper than Koreatown in LA. So it's amazing. Jolmyeon. Jolmyeon is so good. It's one of my favorite Korean food. It's the spicy, chewy, sweet noodles. You put it with like cucumber and eggs. It is so good. So this has the noodles and the sauce made. The other one had MSG. So I got this one because it's better ingredients. A little bit pricey, er, but I think it's worth it. So jolmyeon, so good. You just boil the noodles and then you it comes with the sweet sauce and you put it and you eat it cold with vegetables. And then these dumplings, my kids love din tai foam dumplings. And these are not as good of course, but they're not bad. The soup dumplings, I steam them. Don't get the bulgogi. We like the pork way better. The bulgogi was like, uh, it wasn't very good. So that's tejigogi, the pork. It says pork right there. So I got three of those. Easy dinner. This one is roasted chestnut. My kids love these. They're just the chestnuts right here. It's all cooked inside, so it's wonderful, perfect snack. And these corn chips are so good. They're just like... Oh, it's just good. Way better than Korean ones. Or way better than American corn chips. It has tea, tiny bit sweet, like really good flavor. This is one of my favorites. I don't know why. It's just so airy and fluffy. And I just bite into it. It has the best texture. So I got three of these, or actually four. And this is one of the kids' favorites. Eat it frozen. Anytime it's Korean food, eat it frozen. This is so good. Has little puffs with the chocolate. And if you're Korean, you have the Weezing Changga, the disposable plastic gloves. We cook with it when we touch kimchi, whatever it is. So it's this. Just a disposable. You know? I don't use it often, but when I do, when I make kimchi or like I'm touching something like red pepper, it's gonna stain my hand, I use it. But yeah, all the Korean ajumas have this. And this, I love putting this, steam it, and put it in here. It's the best. This is this is Korean bean sprouts. And kimchi, the Seoul market. This lady makes it homemade. It is such good kimchi. I always check the expiration date to see if it was freshly made. Because it could be pretty fermented. And I'm so excited about this. Sriracha sauce. There's a sriracha sauce shortage. I looked everywhere. Like, a bunch of grocery stores. They were all sold out. They had it at the Asian market. So I had to grab the biggest one. This lasts for a while. No, mom, we need a gatekeeper. What? We need a gatekeeper. My daughter says we need to gatekeep it. What does that mean? Like buy like five? No, we can't let anybody else know except ours. Oh, oops, I'm sharing a big secret. Whoopsie. Get it at the Asian market. Can't gatekeep, we gotta share. 
and spinach. Very exciting. This has, doesn't have MSG. The same brand, the kimchi soup, has MSG in it. So this one doesn't. It's better ingredients. I put like spinach in it and the sprouts and tofu. It's really good. And I put like more soybean paste and bone broth just to make it a little bit healthier. Okay, and then so I showed you guys. Oh, I also got a bag of sweet potatoes. The purple, I think they're called like Japanese sweet potatoes, but they're also Korean. Okay, don't let all the Japanese take credit. I'm just kidding. So I got huge, like I put this in the air fryer. You guys, I'm recording. I put this in the air fryer for 20 to 30 minutes. It's so good. Or I cook it halfway and I chop it up and then I put it in the frying pan and I put oil and corn syrup and then sesame seeds when you're done. My kid's favorite snack. Maybe I should post these as I make it, huh? Okay, and then where's my... Uh-oh. I tilted it in the car. Korean, look how huge. Korean apples, they are so much better. Korean fruit is just so much better. And Korean grapes, you guys. Oh, they are so good. I'm so excited to eat it. The grapes are just so juicy. Oh, you don't eat the peel. Well, I don't. I just suck the inside and the juice. It's one of my favorites. Sweet potatoes, box of apples. So all of this was like $193. Thank you so much for watching my Asian grocery haul. Comment below if you like this video and if you want me to do more. And also if you want me to like next time I make join me on, like show you guys how I make it or the other one, the sweet potato, my kid's favorite snack. If you want me to film it while I make it next time, just let me know. And make sure to like and subscribe. See you next time. Thanks for watching.